Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and today we're going to play the full release version of Mad Games Tycoon. People suggested I should give it another spin now that it is finished, available on Steam and after hundreds of updates it is a poster child for early access done right. Let's go ahead and start a new game, I already entered everything, I'm going to play as Weasel, Lazy Weasel Productions, I picked the burger because the burger, I mean, you know, kind of, kind of feels fitting with lay being lazy. Uh, I'm gonna be playing as Canada, which gives us a 5% sales bonus on building games. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I just disabled the tutorial. And yeah, can I, can I pick another portrait by the way? No, I can't, bummer. Uh, I can pick a special feature, which I haven't done yet, but I think I'm gonna go with 16-bit color support. I like that. And special genre is gonna be building, because that's what we're gonna get a sales bonus at, might as well. Game speed, ooh. That is new. This is, I'm gonna go with standard then, and we're gonna start in the 1980s. Oh yeah. I'm gonna play it as hard, uh, not legendary. Legendary seems a little bit extreme, considering that I haven't played it in a while. Welcome to Mad Games Tycoon. Initially, many functions are disabled, but over time, more and more features are unlocked. Yes, they are. All right, we're gonna start. Oh, look at that. There's our little company logo. We're gonna start here in our little garage. Let us go ahead and build a development office. Because, I mean, that's that's how you start. You, okay, here you go. That's okay. 8x3 fits a few desks in here in case we upgrade eventually. Uh, let's put some cheap desks in here. There you go. One. And one on the other side. Ooh, I can use the mouse wheel to rotate. That's fantastic. That makes me very happy. Three desks for those, you know, three people I don't have. Head office. No, that's not needed yet, and we haven't unlocked anything else, so that's good. That works for me. Let's go ahead and develop our first own game. Um, random game name. Well, we're gonna have to pick a topic, and then we're gonna pick something. Uh, cars. Everyday life. Ooh. Cars. Everyday life and cars as a subtopic. Hmm. Traffic jam simulator. Uh, what is it? 1980? That's the 1980, that's what they, they've always put the year in the back. So, yeah, Traffic Gem Simulator 1980. Five features is the maximum we can do, and oh yeah, uh, it's a it's a skill-based game. It's a it's a very ho horrible skill-based game. <laughs> you just ha don't have to flip out and go crazy. Uh, target audience is obviously going to be the adults. Adults, they, they kind of want to, you know, relive their fondest moments of traffic jams. And let's go ahead and develop that. For which platform should it be? Hmm. I'm not sure. Let's go with the personal computer. And, uh, yeah. We're just going to stay in the middle. Right in the middle. Nothing nothing con fancy. Uh, yeah, we don't have any fan letters. And we're going to keep everything, you know, straight up in the middle. We're only going to go with uh, English. I don't, I don't feel that, you know, developing this makes any sense for other languages and yeah let's go ahead select some features man ascii tech support pc speaker support i guess i'll have to go with that i guess it, it, it's kind of not depressing but like you really would love more selection in the beginning but yeah that that is the 1980s there's there's not a whole lot to be had if, with video games and they were still fun people Still enjoyed them. Okay, so let's go ahead. Uh, how do I speed this up? That one there. Very fast. Good. You you got to keep the volume. There's not a whole lot else I can do. Am I paying myself a salary, by the way? Because, nope, doesn't look like it. Key programming weasel with your three desks in there. That's actually quite depressing if you think about it. Just, you have three desks. So, well, maybe someone's going to work with me one day. Traffic Jam Simulator. Ah, oh, the screenshot is perfect. Look at that. Mm. The work on the game has been completed. You can release. Yes, I want to publish it. Let's find the publisher. Hmm. Uh, I guess Roar, because skill-based games. Um, yep, experience gained, and let's see how much it sells. You can now build the research area. Yay! Look at that. Wow, graphics is really good. Nailed it. That's. I'm, I'm sure it's going to make us some money here and there. Ah, uh, Parallel Worlds and food are currently hot topics. Parallel Worlds and food. Anyway, we're gonna have to borrow some money. We can give a $500,000 credit, which I'm obviously gonna borrow. 500000 of course. Let's hire some people. We're gonna get Kraken. Ugo the Wolf. Sounds good to me. Game designer. Yep, there you go. And I want another. I should have gone with a programmer. Oh, well, there you go. Programming. Higher. Cool. 
and he looks exactly like me, does it now? You have several employees, you can now build a staff room. Game developer legends, 200 chance of legendary employees. Many experienced programmers are looking for jobs in the coming months, more game developer legends will appear. Ooh, nice. I like these events. Yeah, they, he's, my, he's my long lost brother over there, obviously. Looks exactly the same. All right, research and staff room. What about toilets? Eh. Okay, here, research. I'm gonna build one shabby research desk position in here. I guess I guess two people could work in there, why not? We, we have a little bit of cash money now. Cash monies and toilets, here you go. Can't, can't, have, can't have an office without toilets. I mean, that's just fair. Dr having to drive home, toilets, yes, sorry. Uh, having to drive home because your place doesn't have a toilet, that really sucks. Okay, toilets, there you go. Uh, here, toilet. With a stall, how fancy is that? How, could you could you just not just close the door? Just crazy idea. Okay, and a restroom sink. Fantastic. All right, I will need the staff room as well to make people happy. Otherwise, they're going to be all complaining. Oh, sorry, don't want to buy objects. I want to buy the room itself. Here, staff room. Good enough. And you're going to get a couch. Seating. Couch. Yeah. Yeah, this one seat. That's good enough. All right, back to making games. Sorry, spent a, a bunch of money on this stuff. I could research food, I guess. Research topics. Food. Food. Rocks. Food. There you go. Okay, somebody's got to research that, I guess. Yep, you, you two do that. And let's see if we can do some contract work maybe in the meantime. Uh, six weeks, 291 points. I want something with a low workload. Compose music. Sure. Let the programmer make some music. That, so that sounds like a good idea. Five weeks. Nobody's working on it. That's that's a good sign. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be fine. Well then, I should have looked. How much are we paying in monthly? Seven thousand monthly interest. That's that's pretty pretty hefty. Traffic sim. Oh, it did not do very well, did it? Now weeks in sale. Okay, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're gonna develop a new fantastic game about food. Food and everyday life, and it is going to be Gordon Ramsay's bedroom. Yes, absolutely. Let's ship it. Target audience, all ages. Food and everyday life. Yes, uh, poo, good question. I guess we could do skill based game because we did that before and we're kind of good. Let's do it without an engine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Gordon Ramsay's gonna approve. Is he even 1980s? I mean, he's alive. I just don't know if he's a cook yet. Yeah, well, let's go to Game Link Story. We learned something about that. And we can leave it there. Graphics, we can reduce that a bit and put some priority onto gameplay. Good. Um, let's not put other languages in there, save some money. And there you go. Some fans say traffic. What? What? Oh, that disappeared on me. Okay. Let's see how Gordon Ramsay's bedroom is going to do. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a magical experience for the whole family. Uh, what, what are you telling me? Oh, right. Um, thank you. All good. So this is going well. Yeah, I guess music could do better. Yeah, I want to publish the game now. Of course. No improvements. Ah, where can we make the most money? Six. Oh, yeah. Six, six, six dollars. There you go. R not a good relation, but whatever. It's fine. We will make a good relation happen. You released your second game. You can now buy dev kits, develop games on other platforms, and I released my second game. Now I can develop games for multiple platforms. Yay. Let's see. Oh, actually, hey, look at that. We're, we hit the 50% mark. Exciting. Love it. So let's hope it sells well. Absolutely not. It's absolutely doing atrocious. Ah, what can you do? Okay. Food is hot though, still. F food is hot. Un oh wait, shit. Food is unpopular? There's an unpopular genre in skill. I made the most unpopular game I could right now. <laughs> good job, Weasel. Good good job. This is this is new to me. I thought those were like both kind of hot genres, but no, they're 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 not. They're not. Puzzle games in parallel worlds are currently super hot. Sure, let's research parallel worlds, shall we? <laughs> Alright. Good, good times. Oh, they teleported over. They can now teleport. That's good. That's, I didn't know that. I mean, it's still making some money. 
which is it's not doing too hard. Who would have thought that the most unpopular genre and game right now not doing well? Well, they launched a marketing campaign. That that makes me happy. Yeah. Taking a $500,000 loan is risky, I'm going to say. Oh, we should develop... Oh, we can't develop an engine. we Will support development. What? Oh, that's a new thing. We'll have to play around with that. Updates and language packs. Develop a game update for this. Sure. Um, here you go. Let's... Let's throw another 2,000 on there, and let's uh, develop it. Let's make it happen. Let's make Gordon Ramsay's bedroom and actually surprise it, because nobody would have expected that. This game to be popular in this current time where parallel worlds and food are so... Uh, actually, food is so despised. Okay, we got, we got the update. We actually made some money on the game. Thank you very much. What? Remove room? Ooh, new things. Rename room. I, I have no, no interest, but we're going to develop a new game this time. Parallel Worlds. Um, no, not nothing else. No subtopic. And it's going to be a puzzle game. Hmm. Ha, I, I, I got I got an idea. Oh, I took a screenshot. Good job. Parallel uh, puzzles. Parallel puzzles. I think that's a smart title given the genre and topic. Uh, no engine since we don't have any yet. And target audience. How about it's puzzle? Let's do adults. Yeah, let's do everyone. Let's do everyone. Let's let's be all inclusive. And we're gonna go on PC. And I would like to buy a dev kit for the um. Where is it? C64. Wow, look at all these new ones. That's so cool. Well, we already know that the Qatari 2600 is gonna do well, so obviously we're gonna get him. That's good. And we're gonna develop for that as well. Add us. Really exciting. Okay, puzzles. Game length is important. Gameplay is important. Functions, atmosphere. Uh, functions. Uh, let's keep that in the middle and both in the middle. That's good. Uh, we have more graphics, guys. I, I thought that was actually really good. Let's go with sound. And it's already going to be a pricey title. So let's go ahead and put in all the 100,000. Okay, let's not put in all the languages. Just German and English. Yes. It's, it's going to be in-house translated because I speak German. No, oh, that does a trick. You want to participate in the games convention? No! No, I do not want... 100,000. So, someone who's been, like, having a booth at a game convention, can you tell me if you had to pay 100,000? Because I kind of think that's, you know, 1980s, $100,000? No. Parallel puzzles! Yes, I want to publish the game now, please. What is that symbol, by the way? Reputation? No, oh, more jobs. Furthermore, this say increases sales. That is new as well. I like all the new things that I'm discovering. All right, let's find a publisher for this puzzle game. Uh, Gemco. Kemco has some puzzle fans. And let's hope it does well in terms of score. Mm, yeah, mm, I got some achievements. Achievements are new. That's exciting. 36% though. That's uh, not, not a fan. Not a fan. I guess we're gonna up develop an update for it. Uh, develop a game update for Parallel Puzzles. Oh, it has six bugs. Ooh, bug fix update. And the other stuff might as well throw it on. Six thousand. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 go down in flames if we go down. Your games are selling well. To further increase sales, you might want to implement copy protection. Don't you tell me what to do. I will not do that. Why would why would I do that? Wow, actually, Gordon Ramsay's bedroom is selling fairly well thanks to a fantastic game update. It's actually pretty impressive. Uh, support development contract work. We could do some contract work. Let's see. Make some money. Uh, 291 points. Let's go with something with less here. Test beta version. Sure, let's do this. Uh, oh, wow, yeah, that was fast. Good. How am I making some money here and there? All right, research, consoles research. Ooh, starting with consoles all the way back. That's exciting. I don't have the money for it. Not at all. It's basically impossible for me. Doesn't matter. Uh, research features. I would love to research sprites. Let's get right on researching stuff. Oh, you, you don't know what to do with yourself, do you know? Uh, develop a game update for Gordon Ramsay's bedroom. What else? Uh, I think, yeah, security update. I don't know why I would do that. How about some new graphics? Just, just some new graphics. Just to keep it fresh and alive. Yeah, Parallel Puzzles isn't doing so well considering that it is the most popular genre right now. You research your first feature, now you can develop your own engine. 
Hooray, I want to do that. We're going to get into the engine selling business. Be great. Thank you very much for the notification. Oh, actually, I, oh, I made a marketing campaign. Thank you. And there's a little bit of hype about Gordon Ramsay's bedroom. But I think it's done. I think it's done. That's okay. Game removed from market and made $50,000. Parallel puzzles is not going to be as lucky, I can tell you. I can tell you. I kind of want to wait uh, about this to be over. So we are going to develop our own engine. Or do we have some features? Nope, we do not. Let's go ahead and develop a new engine. Now we can improve the old one. So this is going to be... Ah, good question. The tech thingy. Tick, tick, tick thingy. I like it. Tick thingy. 1.0. It's the first version. It's optimized for... Ooh, good questions. How about arcade games? Why not? Features. It's going to have all the features. For color support. Can you believe it? Mind blown. Selling the engines for nothing, but we're going to do some profit sharing. 10%. Actually, we can probably do 12%. Yeah, let's, let's, let's get him hooked first. And you guys go ahead and develop while we're running out of money. Guys, this is a serious business. You gotta, gotta make some more money. Probably do gonna do some contract work while the weeks remain. Unless I... Ah, oh, there's a new feature. PC speaker music. Oh, no. Oh, no. I could have used that to... That's the worst. Ah, oh, well. Doesn't matter. We can still make a game. We can still make it happen, guys. Parallel Worlds... You know what? We're just going to do a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah, have a, have a seat. Okay, good. Develop a new game or do some contract work. I'm kind of tempted to do some compact work. Uh, contract work. Compress data. Are we going to do what 7-Zip or WinZip is doing, basically? I guess making data smaller so it fits on a floppy, it's, it's a legit thing to do back then. So you can ship it on one floppy, which is probably way cheaper. Uh, more contract work. More, more. Compose some music. Sure. Let's, let's do three, two game designers and a programmer. Let's compose some music. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna go horribly wrong. It's gonna be fine. It's just, it's, it's easy. Um, game development contract. Eh, less interested. Sure. Let's do some sound effects just to, you know, ball star income a bit. Ooh, worst game of the year, Traffic Jam Simulator 1980. Hour. I lost 2,500 fans. I didn't even know I had a single one. But my mom's a fan. Okay. Don't... Oh. Ooh. Snowing. Ooh. Ooh, it's raining. Sn it's, it's, it's snowing. That is so cool. Yeah, it's... it's. Wow, yeah, it's December. And it's snowing. I love it. All right. Improve all engine. How much would it cost to add another feature to it? Hmm. Interesting. Let, let's try it. Let's see what improving an engine actually costs us. Uh, you're just gonna have to hang out here. The game has been saved. Ooh, thank you very much. That is so con that, that's so friendly of you. Update the language packs. Noob. Okay, develop new engine. Improve old engine. The tech thingy. That's gonna be the tech thingy 1.1. And we're going to add PC speaker music. So, oh. It actually just costs us... 5,000. That's cool. Increasing the share to 12% because now we have PC, PC, PC speaker music. It takes a while, though, to actually finish that feature. Oh, okay. We have some new hot topics right now. Cyberspace and a, ooh, a cyberspace adventure. That does sound cool, doesn't it? Okay, we're going to go with that adventure games. 60,000. You know what? We're not going to go with that. Fuck that. <laughs> Too, too pricey. We need a successful game, guys. We're running a little low on money. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I, I don't think I played this game ever on hard. Okay. Still topic. Oh, wait. We still got to research cyberspace. My bad. Cyberspace. Where is it? Cyberspace. Come on, guys. Get cracking. All right. Nailed it. Let's develop a game based on that. Cyberspace. And... You know, teenagers. Let's go for teenagers. Let's hone in on them. And... Ah, what's currently hot? Um, Nothing in particular. Let's do an arcade game. In cyberspace. And we're gonna call it Cyber Maze. 
because that's that's a creative and interesting title. Don't you judge me. Uh, with our tech engine, a tech thingy engine. That's why we developed it in the first place and hope that it does well. This is going to be pretty pricey. Pretty pricey. Let's hope we survive this. Copy protection. Absolutely. I'm going to buy some. The safe force for 10,000. It's not quite outdated. Nope. There you go. Uh, we're going to keep it in the middle just to have a balanced game for now. And same same with this. Improve graphics a little bit. Yeah, just keep it in the middle. It'll be fine. And we're going to risk it a little bit by putting the Spang figs on. Basically, uh, Spanish, English, uh, French, Italian, and German. That's basically the, the short term for developing for these languages for the biggest markets you cover like i don't know what is it a huge chunk of the world population with those five languages okay guys we got to make this happen this is this is our last chance we're down to 40,000 this needs this needs to happen your job is on the line you better make a fantastic game look at those 10 bugs Ugh. okay oh how can i improve on the bugs I mean, unless, you know, I am make Cyber Maze plus six and a brainstorm. Uh, some great ideas for the current game have been proposed. Those should significantly improve the game. Cool. Uh, yeah, we're going to publish it. And who is good arcade game? Seven bucks. Infcoms. Yep. Will do. Uh, please. Over 50. Actually over 50. Gra wow. Sound and graphics are really good. Topic in the trend. Sound graphic. That's cool. We might make some money on this. Very happy. Much happy. Let's let's develop a game update for Cyber Maze. We're going to get rid of those bug fixes. And sure, new game modes. Just small little upgrades to push it a little bit. There you go. 5,000 sales. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. Let's do some small updates here and there. Okay, that gets rid of all the bugs. And I guess we're going to improve on gameplay a bit. It's coming short. And new levels. Sure. Hope this works out for us. Oh, yes. Look at that. The sales are going up. Guys, this is looking exciting. Some fans would have liked Cyber Maze to be more beginner friendly. Well, some fans, they have no right to say. They, they left us when we got the worst game of the year. And now they're fans again. No, I'm not, I'm not taking it. Taking it. I'm developing games to make great games, not to please our fans. Okay, so this is good. 143,000. That's exciting. Uh, we're going to develop another game update Bam! for Cyber Maze. Going to push on those on the technology and the gameplay because it's that's where it's a little short and hope it works all out. We could receive even more features. Joystick drivers. Yay. Let's do this. Anyway, guys, I think I think we have a good start. Do not participate on a game booth. Don't be silly. Uh, we have a good start here. We're making some money back. We have our first great title. That sells hopefully over 100,000 copies. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Uh, and I'm going to be continuing this in the next one. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Yeah, we've got some, some stores here. Nothing fancy. The Quiet Corner Shop. General store. Convenience store. How's the building doing? Yeah, I, I, I know. The general store already normally. They're all very happy. Very happy. Did I put you on there? I didn't put bitches on the other side. Surprisingly, I can't. I wonder why. I wonder if it's the, um... If it's the electrical thingy. Like, 